Hamburg's port is vital to the city's economy, with 92 million tons of goods transported through the port annually. Cargo carried by trucks accounts for over 50% of this volume, with trucks driving more than 172,000 kilometers in the port on a typical workday. With kilometers driven and vehicle greenhouse gas emissions on the rise, a way needs to be found to reduce emissions from trucks which result from stop-and-go traffic. At the same time, improving traffic flow for trucks would mean fewer delays in transporting goods. Our goal is to create efficient and sustainable traffic management in the port while ensuring road safety. One way we can achieve this is by optimizing our traffic lights so we can reduce delays for trucks and this will help to reduce the environmental impact. The Green for Transport initiative launched in the port of Hamburg is an innovative approach to sustainable traffic management. A unique public-private collaboration between the Hamburg Port Authority and leading smart mobility providers. The project focuses on implementing intelligent transport systems in a high-volume area of the port to minimize delays for cargo-carrying trucks. As a proof of concept, Green for Transport conducted a five-month pilot phase in the Katwikdam area of the port involving 60 trucks and two traffic intersections. The trucks were equipped with onboard units from NXB and Technolution and roadside units from Unex traffic, which were installed at the two intersections. The centerpiece of Green for Transport is the implementation of VTX technology, which enables the real-time communication between onboard units in vehicles and roadside units installed at traffic lights. VTX technology makes it possible for a traffic light to detect an approaching cargo carrying truck, designate the truck as a priority vehicle, and extend the traffic light's green phase to enable the truck to pass through without having to stop. One feature that makes the Green for Transport VTX implementation unique is that the traffic lights can detect a convoy of two or more trucks and extend the green light phase within the maximum possible time window until all the trucks have passed through the intersection. This keeps truck convoys moving and reduces greenhouse gas emissions from stop-and-go traffic. Thanks to our local logistic partners who used our system in their daily operations, we were able to collect representative data from our Green for Transport pilot project. The findings from our evaluation of the data demonstrated that intelligent transportation systems reduced delays for trucks and reduced vehicle greenhouse gas emissions. The HBA and its partners have invested a great deal of time and resources into Green for Transport, and there have been many challenges along the way. This includes regulatory hurdles, implementing technology and standards, which are constantly evolving, but also educating our many stakeholders. The successful deployment of the Green for Transport project in the city of Hamburg had shown excellent results. And it demonstrates how the cities, the environment and the economy can benefit from the adoption of the cutting-edge intelligent transportation system. I would like to highlight here that a project of this scale and complexity would not be possible without a close collaboration of a forward-looking government and innovative companies. With Hamburg swinging the way forward, we hope this result will be duplicated in many cities around the world. Green for Transport positions Hamburg as a leader in innovating for intelligent port transportation. With Green for Transport as a key milestone, the goal is to have total traffic management optimized traffic lights featuring real-time communication with road users implemented throughout the port of Hamburg by 2025. This will make it possible for traffic in the port to one day be completely carbon neutral.